Hello Flight Simmers. I'm here to give an update on my sim project here. And in front of me I have the 2230 by DesktopAviator.com. And coming straight out of the package you can get 19 toggle switches or rocker switches. But with a few modifications, adding 15 jumpers, you can get it to 31. Uh, this board is just like the 2120, but they call it on steroids, and it's only the 2230. This board in front of us here is only four dollars more, and you get 11 more toggle switches or rocker switches. And it's very easy to do. Um, you can see I got the uh, jumper soldered in place. It took me about a half hour. To do it again, I'd say probably 15 minutes or less. Uh, I think the idea is to get a bunch of solder on those posts and uh, then then heat the solder up again and, and stick the wires in there because it's such a tight spot to, to work. Uh, here, Ben. I got Mini-Me here. Say hi. Um, so let's hook it up and see if it works. All right, I'm back sitting in my flight sim here, and I'm going to plug in the card. And I'm currently running Windows 7. Okay, got it plugged in. And I just created a generic switch here. It's actually an on-off on, but modified it to be um, an on-off. Let's go to the control panel, see what number switch that's plugged into here um, bear with me here Oops. all right here it is it picked it up as a 4550 dual pulse generator model 2230 which is right let's do uh, properties on this and See, okay, I'm gonna flip the switch here. Okay, it's going to uh, number nine. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try it again. I don't know if number nine, lighting up. Um, I am gonna turn it off and get FSX running. I know you don't wanna wait for it to load up. So, all right, I have uh, FSX running here, and we can go into the uh, settings. Um, of the controls and we will set uh, let's see going to buttons and keys and let's do lights that's easy here um, landing lights on and off so let's get this switched Okay, we got button 9 activated. Hit OK. OK. And let's see if we can. Uh, I also have um, overhead here. It normally doesn't go there, but um, just for testing here. We'll uh, flip the switch. And you can see you get the landing lights going. And also there. So pretty easy. Uh, making those modifications very simple to do. Let's see, if you get it outside. So now I can hook up what 30 more switches just like this, um, and I plan on making a overhead too. Um, I may need to get a different card too. I don't think some of the switches will work with this card. Um, so, but for now, um, I'll be able to use it for some of the uh, 150 plus things you can do. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching.